was afraid of what I was going to see but I had to be brave and put on my headphones and blast music to force lucid dream. I was now in the lucid dream world but things did not look the same, now the sky was like outer space. Below was an endless city of darkness and above was a glowing figure made of energy that I felt drawn to. I called Dolly so we can go see what this figure made of light was. This figure was a veil of light and inside was all my dream worlds. The light looked like a mermaid fairy angel hugging the moon with a sun halo over her head in a peaceful slumber. I wanted to see my dream worlds on the inside. I was told by Dolly that many worlds can appear here and go there is no limit it like the realm system in my animations. The fairy angel world was its own standalone world and my fairy angel castle with city was now a standalone sky world. Dolly and I flew to the top to see if anyone was in my royal chamber and I was greatly surprised at what I saw when we got there. My dream team was still around and did not go away. The doggy girl came with her clipboard to tell me that I am the pillar of this world and the dark fairy empress Murky is trying to send nightmares to attack the world inside the fairy angel veil to make me sad. This sounds weird at first but she would go into full detail about why this is a problem. Now that Murky is a small adorable fairy who only wants to bring sadness and negativity to others made her the ruler of the entire dark world below my world and that is not enough for her. She learned a way to spread her darkness to the other worlds using me as the link between worlds. Her plan is simple, kill my dream world, make me sad and upset. I wake up in a bad mood. Negative energy can pass on to another person and make them negative as well. And once they are full of negativity, she will feed on the negativity she caused energy and vibrations can be used that way. Nothing really happened and there was no attack from Murky and while I was waiting on my bed and looking at my dream room, one of my teammates came with nail polish and started to paint my nails and for some strange reason the hat kid looking fairy took one of my shoes and was about to take my other shoe with a sly face. Two fairy angels came and picked me up and I felt like I knew these two. They was taking me to a door made of light and I can see a figure on the inside who looks like the Empress of Light. I knew I was safe and allowed the fairy angels to bring me in the light. Once I was inside the world of the Empress of Light who was no longer looking at a sea of clouds but now outer space with tons of worlds in bubbles and single planets. The two fairy angels turned into the balls of light that are always next to the Empress. Nothing really happened. She just showed me tons of worlds as one of the lights became a fairy angel again and picked me up to see the space outside as she held me. I did see my dream world but nothing really happened. Some point later I was in the night city where I had a Sailor Moon dream. I was wearing a hood jacket and was running and jumping on buildings and walls not having to worry about wings or a broom and was just making the world my playground. I was now in a fancy party and had no wings and or magic but I was still in control of myself. A guy with a rabbit style max like tuxedo mask mask came to me and asked to dance. He started to sing along with the music that was making me lose a dream at the moment. As we danced and he took the lead, he used his mind to tell me that he is trying to make me feel like a princess and I should treat myself better and love myself. I don't have to be a magical fairy or enchanted angel to feel special and I can just be myself. He started to spin me around and strike poses as the rest of the people watched and cheered us on. The guy told me that he was a prince and wanted me to be a strong princess and kiss my dress glove and I noticed something was wrong. 
I felt something on my hand and it began to move and I woke up to see a big locket on my arm. Bruh. I was on my broom thinking about how this is my default shape and not the baby bunny which unless I changed by force. I started to slip into deep sleep but did not care a panic and was in full control of myself when my body was now full out. I started to think about the two fairy angels and something dawned on me. While I have a hard time seeing the face of the Empress of Light she has to wear a mask or my eyes would hurt and I have to turn away if I see her face. The two balls of light was Kago Mei and the guide lady. This explains why the one on the left was so happy and was quick to pick me up and pat me and hug me. I was so happy that they did not go away and are still there in some way or form. I felt so much better about the changes my dream realm changed now. I am happy now. What happens next is unclear but I'll be ready for the next dream. I now have the spirit to make more animations and dream story videos for those who love these kind of content.